more severe weather. We're talking about storms and flooding. Yeah, the high water even caused one roadway in Kinsman to be partially swept away. First News Weekend Morning anchor Connor Kick is live now in studio with a look at how much all of this could cost and where the money is coming from. Connor. Yeah, that's right, guys. A major causeway leading to over 30 homes was partially swept away from high floodwaters, causing people who live there to evacuate. After Saturday's storms, engineers came in and assessed the damage left behind. They say there's going to be a tremendous amount of work that has to be done because of the amount of embankment material needed to fix the road. That wasn't the only place affected, though. Twelve other locations in Kinsman also suffered storm damage. Lawmakers got a first-hand look at the damage to see what all needed to be done on their side. We recognize that things like this happen from time to time, and so we actually have uh, about $25 million uh, set aside in this state budget that, uh, that was signed into law this week uh, for emergency situations when necessary. The damage done from this round of storms is estimated to be anywhere between two to three million dollars. For anyone needing assistance with the flood, the Red Cross will be available at the Kinsman Presbyterian Church. They'll be there from 9 a.m. until noon today. Caseworkers will also be available to provide assistance to those who evacuated their homes or had structural damage. And Trumbull County officials are hoping to get a lot of assistance from the state. They say that even if they exerted their budget for the next 10 years, they wouldn't be able to fix it themselves. Live in the studio, Connor Kick, First News This Morning.